In this video tutorial, you will learn how to fix WordPress syntax error. Syntax error usually occurs after you have made some changes to your website. You may have installed a new plugin or theme. Also, you may recently have made some code edits to add certain features to your WordPress website. WordPress syntax error makes your site inaccessible to you and your readers. Although this issue can be annoying, the good thing is the error message tells you exactly where to look to resolve it. If you recently added a plugin or team to your website and WordPress syntax error showed up, your best bet would be to remove these new additions to return site functionality. To do this, you would need to manually disable the new plugin or team. We have videos explaining how to disable plugins and teams using cPanel. You can check them and I will link them in the description below. If you made any recent code edits on your site, they might be the reason for this error. Since your dashboard cannot be accessed, you would need to access your site files and make edits using cPanel or FTP. I will show you how to solve this error using cPanel. Usually, it's a parse error syntax error unexpected. You will see that the error message shows the location of the code that is causing the error. As shown in the image, the error is in the team files. So log into your cPanel, then click on File Manager. Since I am working on my subdomain, I will look for that folder. If you are working on your main domain, then open this folder called Public HTML. Double click on the folder to open it. Look for the folder named WP Content. Open the folder. Here, we have another folder called Teams. Open this folder as well. This folder contains all the installed Teams on your website. Now, open the folder with your currently active Teams name. So, my currently active team is 2016. So, I will open that folder. Now, according to the error message, I need to edit the functions.php file. To edit the file, just right-click on it. Then click on Edit. This pop-up is nothing but a reminder to back up your file. So you can click on Edit again. And now I will just undo the recent change I made here. This is how you can fix the WordPress syntax error. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the Like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the Subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.